In every step of our lives, we have to make a lot of important choices. And one of them is choosing the right pair of earphones since they stay with us for years. Now, comparing headphones can be interesting, but has anybody compared the earphones that come inside the box when you buy phones? Well, I don't know, but I thought, why the hell not? Because most of us use the same pair of earphones given inside the box rather than get a new one. And also, I thought it would be interesting. So today, we compare the earphones that come inside the box of the Galaxy S10 Plus, the iPhone XS, and the Huawei P30 Pro. So let's get into it. Now, you might say that Samsung has the best earphones because they've partnered with AKG after all, but I decided to give them the benefit of the doubt. So I compared them on the basis of design, sound quality, and microphone. In terms of design, Apple's and Huawei's look very similar. At first glance, you can't tell the difference. It's only when you look at the microphone and the connector that you can tell. Apple's comes with their own lightning port, while Huawei's has a USB-C. And since Samsung's AKG still has the 3.5mm jack, it makes for better compatibility against more devices. But of course, you cannot compare these on the basis of that. These, after all, come with their own devices. However, with a braided kind of design and rubber silicon earbuds, Samsung AKG is better aesthetically. As for the microphone, I recorded short sound clips, but I don't think anyone here stands as the clear winner. Hello, this is the audio from Samsung's AKG. Hi, testing the audio from Huawei P30 Pro's um, earphones that come inside the box. Um, now I am testing the audio from uh, Apple's earphones. Huawei's is the loudest, but that's all there is you can make of them. Okay, sound quality. I use these earphones to listen to a few songs and watch some videos, and none of these feature any kind of noise cancellation, so there will be disturbances. And this is important because AKG has the lowest volume among them all. It is not very low, but you can definitely notice if you compare it with the other two. Uh, it does have clarity, the songs are crisp, and it handles highs and lows very well. However, it could do with some more bass. Even though most songs sound good, you can't quite get into it sometimes. But one thing it does best is the headroom. Even at the loudest of volumes, there is no distortion. Plus, if you want to listen to metal songs at the highest of volumes, this is a very good option. Now, Huawei's earphones have the same kind of clear and crispy audio. It is noticeably louder than Samsung's AKG and has a good bass. At the right volume levels, it even sounds better than Samsung's. But it does not have some headroom, that is, you cannot listen to it at the highest of volumes without damaging your ears, so if you want something with bass, then this is the way to go. Lastly, Apple's earphones pack good enough sound quality to not to get left behind. The audio is clear, but there appears to be a bit of an echo, and it distorts at highest volumes but not as much as Huawei's. And there is bass but not as much as Huawei's. But what this earphone is best for is watching movies. It has that immersive sound that is really felt while watching movies with bombs going off and gunshots. So there you have it. Samsung's earphone is like you're more than the average performer in all the aspects. Huawei does better in bass and loudness, while Apple's immersive experience is better while watching movies. But if you take uh, all the aspects into consideration like design, uh, comfort, and sound, uh, Samsung's AKG here stands as the clear winner. Well, no surprises there. So that was our comparison of these earphones out of the boxes. Uh, do let us know in the comment section below what you think about it and thank you for watching.